Hello, this is Vince Edwards with Empire Builders. Here today to talk about a couple terms, a couple things that's very important for startups and entrepreneurs raising capital. Uh, today I want to talk about convertible note and a safe product. They're similar, but they're different. I want to kind of define both of them for you and give you a little, little insight on what's the pros and cons of each one. A convertible note's a debt instrument. It's a loan uh, with terms that include an interest rate uh, and a payoff date. Uh, one of the big differences between this and a normal loan, though, is there are not usually monthly payments made. It's one big payment made at the end at the payoff date, uh, exercise date, basically. And that is also the date which the loan has other terms that cut, kick into place. That is what really makes it different why uh, startups use this particular vehicle to raise capital is because, one, they don't make payments, but two, for investors, at the expiration date or before, there are terms that define that money can be then converted to equity into the company. Uh, so there are usually issues around that different uh, additional conditions that are standard with con convertible notes. Uh, typically, again, they have an interest payment. There's also typically a discount into the next equity round. What that means is uh, if, for example, you loan some money, a million dollars, in a convertible note. You can, you, when you convert, you get the compounded interest added on to that, and typically you would then be able to get more equity into the company because it'd be at a discounted valuation versus someone who was now just investing in that equity round. So there's a couple factors there that allow you to really get a big benefit when it converts to equity for giving that money up front and taking a risk that uh, this company may or may not get to that, e to, to that equity, further equity round. Typically they do, not always. There are also conditions in case something happens with the company, uh, but the good thing about this, it is a loan, so it has to be dealt with. So at some point, either the loan has to be extended if that equity raise hasn't come about, or uh, it has to be paid off, including the interest, uh, or uh, it's treated as any other debt that could be, uh, that debt could then, uh, the company be forced to pay that debt some way, somehow. Uh, the other thing that's very similar to a convertible note that's gotten very popular that was created at Y Combinator, um, I, I'm guessing about five years ago now, it's called a SAFE, which is a simple agreement for future equity. This is a contract where money is given for future equity. It is not a debt instrument. Let me repeat that again. It is not a debt instrument. It has the same characteristics of a convertible note, uh, it doesn't usually have interest, and it doesn't usually have a maturity date, but it is set to also convert at the next equity round. Now, for both of these entities, uh, in case there is an exit, which means the company is bought, it goes public, or some other thing, uh, at that time, they would also convert to equity uh, at uh, a predetermined amount, a uh, predetermined thing, or at the discount that it was established from what the, someone's going to pay. But typically, they're going to get that big discount into uh, the sale of the company as far as what share is being paid for shares. So they have they have terms that will identify how it converts to equity at that time built into the contract on the convertible note or the safe. So there are terms to, to, to deal with the with an exit price per share on that. Uh, now, in case the company folds, the, the other big difference between the two is a convertible note uh, is in line before any investor money to get paid back because it's a debt. Well, if a company was to fold, it's like a bankruptcy or any other company that goes out of business, the debtors are taken care of before the investors. So that's one big advantage of a convertible note. So when I look at the pros and cons of this, um, the safe is a preferred choice for long-term investors, and it's usually a preferred choice for most startups and entrepreneurs. The reason why, it takes out the stress and pressure of having this debt vehicle, this instrument, this loan, something that has to be dealt with by the maturity date or has to be extended or has to then convert uh, sometime sooner than you'd want it to. But you have to figure out something to deal with that particular issue because it is a debt, it is a loan. So uh, long-term investors, as well as most startups and entrepreneurs, really prefer the safe vehicle. Short-term-minded investors, more cautious investors, investors who may not, who decided to go to convertible note because they would have a way to uh, put stress or pressure on an entrepreneur to make something happen, may prefer the convertible note. And also it has that big, you know, at the end, if something happens, 
they get in line first. So that's one of the reasons some investors, or a couple of reasons why some investors would prefer the convertible note to the safe product is it gets in line first in, in case you know, they don't have a lot of confidence the company will make it all the way to, to a full maturity date, uh, to an exit, a real exit. Uh, I personally think they both are equally good. Again, uh, if, you're, if you want to have a, feel, feel a little bit more better about your investment, uh, as far as the security of it, convertible notes better. If you're a long-term investor who invests in many uh, startups and entrepreneurs, you're probably going to prefer a safe product because it's less headache for you. You don't have to deal with renegotiation. You don't have to deal with it being a loan. You don't have to deal with a lot of those other issues as dealing with that, uh, those particular sides of the issue. And you still get the same overall protections and it's still going to convert with the same terms as a convertible note to safe will. So long-term investors who are not stressed out about their investment knows that, they're, that they invest in multiple businesses. They've learned to really like the safe product also. Again, it's all about your, your temperament and how you feel as an investor, and, but typically the safe is a better vehicle for the entrepreneur and the startup. Any more questions, just contact us at Empire Builders, or you can always consult your local securities attorney and get more information on these products right here. Uh, again, we hope to just keep guiding you and, and giving you information for our startups and entrepreneurs to help you be, become the best prepared out there to raise capital and build your own empires. Thanks, hit subscribe, and check out our other videos.